Hi there everyone, this is Miss Ashman from Dudley Performing Arts. We're going to go through section 3 now of memory and this is going to start from where it says add piccolo at the top of your second page through to the end of that second line, okay. Chord wise, most of these chords you've already done but we might need to check over the odd one. Now, we're starting off, I'm going to make sure I've changed to my sound that adds the piccolo. The piccolo is the really high sounding flute okay we're going to start off with our finger three on f and finger two on our d and what happens is we play that top note three times and we drop the bottom one as we go don't forget we've got a b flat because of our key signature so this is what's going to happen okay so just try that first so finger two on d to your thumb on c and then move your thumb again for b flat Okay, and then it tells you that that B flat is three beats long. So when you get to the B flat, your little finger will jump to A and then drop back down. So if I put all that together, we've got okay, so try that first. And then the second phrase is the same idea. This time I'm going to put three on E and my thumb on C. Again, stepping down using B flat, then jump up to G, F. And when you do the G, F, I just use the wrong fingers then, but if I do G, F, I do want to get finger three on that F for the best finger transitions, okay? So I'm going to do that one again. And then here, that finger three is really important. I'm now going to build a chord around it. I'm going to do a D minor chord in root, which is D, F, A. And all I need to do now is drop the bottom note. And I need a normal B at this point. There is a natural sign. And this is your natural sign here, just attached to that B note there. So that cancels out that B flat that we've been using so far. Okay, so I'm going to put it together from the top of that section. Finger three and two to start with. One, two, three, four. I'll do that again because I should have lifted those up. Okay. Now it does say to have finger two on this one. So at some point, you'll probably need to swap that around. And that finger four will come into play at the top, which will help you move on. Let's go again. And now my finger two is in the right place for the next part. I just need my little finger on the B at the top. And I jump to an E and a C, dropping the top note to a G at the very end. Okay. So I'm just going to go from that chordy position, the D minor in root, swapping my fingers, step my thumb down. Little finger at the top, open it up, finger three at the top here. Okay, so chord wise, we need the D minor chord again, dropping to a G minor, C7, step your thumb up and add in the C like you did before, and then F chord. Just move that middle finger up then for D minor. Here you need a G7, so you're going to leave your thumb at the top. You can leave the D in as well. Finger three on a B and your little finger on the G. And if you can do a full G7, you get the full chord. Dropping to C7 at the end. So just watch that little position change. G7, C7. Okay. So have a little practice of those chords. And now I'm going to do two hands together, followed by two hands in rhythm for you to use while you're practicing. Here we go. This is the two hands first. Ready, steady. And okay, so that's what you want to get to before you start adding your rhythm. I'm going to sing start now and add rhythm as well. So ready, two, three, four. Okay, 
see if you can bolt that on to what you've already done and I will see you in part five.